Yes. Like the male, uh, apparently, swastikas are anti-Semitic now. Political correctness gone mad, isn't it? Th yes, it is political correctness gone mad. Uh, fury over absolutely gobsmacking footage showing Met Police officer telling Jewish women uh, that swastikas need to be taken into context and might not be anti-Semitic. What sort of context do you need? I mean, unless you're saying you're talking about the old, the old uh, Indian symbol... Because, of course, the Nazis stole no, the swastika. The mirror, though. It's a reverse. It's I, the, it's a re but it's the same I actually, I mean, design. I don't want to undermine all police officers, but I don't believe this police officer would have been aware of where the swastika came from. No. Um, I don't think that would have entered his mind. I think we've got to a point now where we are so avoiding the elephant in the room yes. that we're telling everybody that everything needs context. So nobody knows what right and wrong is anymore. Even the people that are employed to make sure we understand what right and wrong is are. Is it just, I mean, we're seeing the footage there on screen now, is it just the, the police don't want to arrest certain people because they don't want to be accused of certain things? And that even includes, apparently, if someone's holding a swastika. I would yeah. say, Jonathan, uh, a swastika is always... Always has anti-Semitic I mean, I would agree, but in the context of an anti-Israel march where there's been plenty of anti-Semitic remarks yes. being made at these ben it's events, clear, right? events, I think the message is quite clear. Um, now, is this an issue with that one policeman who was too afraid to say something, or is this more a policy issue with the whole police? Uh, I, I can't imagine. I think this is a rogue cop, isn't it? Yeah, also, well, it's very difficult, because, I mean, I wouldn't... I don't know about you, Andrew, but I wouldn't want to police any of this stuff. And... Yeah. Um, I think they've learned to appease. Their, their whole mission now seems to appease, 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 unless maybe it's um, appease uh, someone they think they okay. don't have to appease. So, so, what, so what's happening is they're no longer leading in any way. Show. They should be leaders within society, please. Yes. You know, I, I, I do, I, I'm, I'm not sure that I agree totally with what I just said because, you know, I don't want to become authoritarian. But at the same time, they should be a role model and they should be able to go, the swastika is bad. Yeah, but, the, you know, this, it, this, we talk about this two-tier policing situation, the way that people react to things, you know. We felt this situation, a swastika on a march where there have been anti-Semitic statements being made. Of course, yeah. This story the other day about the pub in Cornwall that is being disqualified from the Pub of the Year yeah. award, the Hole in the Wall pub, because it has an old swastika armband from the actual war, right. which was given to the pub as a gift from a soldier yeah. who was bringing back his spoils of victory. You know, it wasn't uh, endorsing the Nazis. It was celebrating the triumph over the Nazis. And they had this museum room mm. at the back, and it was in a glass cabinet. They were nominated for Pub of the Year, but everyone's freaked out and said, nope, now you can't do it. Now you can't have the prize. Yeah. The context there... I was outside of London then. Well, Cornwall. Yeah. You can't oh, go much yeah. further. Really. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, uh, and and the, the context there is clear. It's yeah. not promoting the Nazis. On a march where lots of people are saying anti-Semitic things, context kind of... You Absolutely. don't really, you know... I mean, we didn't see the whole thing. I always want to try and give as much context as possible because, you know, as comedians and as people who talk about the newspapers, things we often see things taken out of context. So, there is, yeah. so I want to give him some benefit of the doubt. But I do believe this is systematic now yeah. and they're just too afraid because the opposite side of that argument are Muslims and they're very afraid... To, to, to in any way discourage a Muslim from anything. And you know what, we all, we all, we all know and love Muslims are going through Ramadan at the moment, but they don't need any more protecting than we do. Well, Everybody needs to have the same rules apply. treat everyone equally. This yeah. is the problem with Rotherham. Can't we all just get along? Uh, That's a beautiful... You should sing Ebony and Ivory now. <laughs> That's what you should do. All right. No.